All right, the notes tonight are about solving short form equations. You want to make sure you have that notes template with you. And the goal in this is to kind of answer how can I solve equations in short form, reviewing this from pre-algebra. And so you need to know that to solve means to find the set of replacements for a variable that makes a statement true. So that is the definition for the word solve. So when we solve in short form, or when we solve in long form, we use the properties of ALE in some equations when we have to add something to both sides. If we were doing it in long form, we would show the steps of associative of addition, we'd have additive inverse, we'd have additive identity, and we would use substitution. If it's an equation that involves an MLE process or you have to multiply by both sides, uh, multiply something on both sides to get the variable by itself. For MLE in long form we would use MLE associative of multiplication, multiplicative inverse, multiplicative identity, and substitution. Now those are all the steps that technically are happening but when we solve them in short form we won't show all of those and we don't need to label our properties. So we'll start with an equation that requires an MLE process. Now how you decide it needs an MLE process is that x is being divided by 6. And so to get x by itself, to find that replacement for x that makes it true, I want to undo that dividing by 6 by multiplying by 6 on both sides. So I would multiply by 6 on both sides of the equation. I'm going to show that I'm multiplying by 6 to both sides. Now I can write the x over 6 as 6 times 1 6x. That's the same thing. So those values, 6 times 1 6, would give me 1, or 1x. One so I get x. is equal to 6 times 12 and so x is equal to 72. Now you do want to always check your work and to check we write the original equation so I'm just going to show my check there write my original equation plug in the hopeful solution for the variable and then you just simplify both sides. Now there's nothing to do on the right hand side of this equation but copy down the 12. On the left you would do the division and you get 12. When you get a match you know you're correct. And then you would list your solution or your replacement for the variable 72 in set braces to show the solution. So we'll look at another example. Now this example involves subtraction and typically in an equation if it involves subtraction we do try to get rid of subtraction so we would use our uh, property of definition of subtraction definition of opposites of course we're not showing it in long form so we can just go ahead and change it to adding the opposite now in order to get the y by itself to isolate the variable I need to get rid of negative 8 being added to that opposite of y so I want to add to both sides and I use ALE to do that. So I would add a positive 8 to both sides of the equation. Let's make that a positive 8 there. So basically I'm using the addition property of equality or addition law of equality to add 8 to both sides of what of the equation that was already there. And then 8 plus negative 8 was going to cancel. That would give us 0 with additive inverse and then 0 plus the opposite of y being the opposite of y would just be the additive identity property. Again, not writing those properties because we don't need to show our long form. 
and then we get the opposite of y is 17. You can't forget that opposite sign. You don't want to forget that. That's a common mistake. You want to make sure you're bringing that down because the solution is not 17. It says the opposite of y is 17. And so if you know what opposites are, then you know that y would be equal to negative 17. We do, again, always want to do a check. So we would write our original equation to do the check. And then you just take your hopeful solution of negative 17 and plug that in for your variable. And you simplify both sides. Again, nothing to simplify on the right, but on the left-hand side, you are simplifying, and we see that we get 9. When it matches, you've got a good solution, and so you can take that solution and put it into set braces. In this next example, we're going to set up an equation based on translating. So we have 22 less than a number is negative 7. I'd love for you to pause the video and see if you can write the equation that goes with that. And then replay to check. So 22 less than says that 22 is going to come behind and be subtracted from a number, and we can have any variable stand for that number, is, is your equals negative 7. So hopefully that's the equation that you wrote. Now to get this variable x by itself, I want to get rid of subtracting 22. So I'm going to add 22 to both sides. Again, you could change the subtraction like we did last time, but we're doing short form, so we don't necessarily need to show all of that. These values would cancel. And so we would get x is equal to, and then we do the arithmetic on the right-hand side, and we get 15. Again, always kind of thinking through that you want to do a check. So if you take your original, and you plug in your hopeful solution, and do the arithmetic on each side, we see we get a match, and then we can indicate that our solution is 15. Now, because this is a word problem, we also want to make sure we're giving a word answer, sentence answer, um, so we can just say the number is 15. So if you're given a word problem, again, giving a solution in sentence form. So just to kind of summarize what steps you should be showing when you are solving in short form, again, you don't need to write the properties, but when you add something to both sides, you're applying ALE, and you should show what you're adding to both sides. When you multiply something on both sides of an equation, you're applying MLE, and you should show that work. If you change subtraction or change opposites, you should show that work. If you distribute, which we'll look at more um, in the upcoming equations, you should show what you get when you distribute. Defi uh, like I said before, definition of subtraction, showing that work. And um, if you switch the sides of the equation for sim e, uh, like you want your x on the left, you should show that work as well. And then we take uh, the time to write our solution in set braces. when we're working algebraically. Remember to take any questions into your teacher.